Yo, 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 what is going on, Amiibo Army? We are back, and this one's going to be a fun one this week. We are doing just a big old Amiibo arena. I'm happy for this one because you guys get to show off your Amiibo. I mean, I'll have some of mine in here as well, but we just get to have a lot of 1v1s. Just kind of show off our... Oh, somebody took my... Okay, I see what happened there. Insta drop Jigglypuff. Yeah, they definitely took inspiration from my sleepy time. I noticed that. Did Dempsey's? Did Dempsey's Dialga Corin? Did he just heal? I think he healed. I think he had like critical health healing or something. I might have. Maybe I seen that wrong, but I thought he did. But uh, Insta drop Jigglypuff. I have one of those of my own. Sleepy time. It's it's just too good. I inspired a whole generation, and I'm proud of it. See, it's just too good. It's just too good. Oh, that's what Corrin has. Corrin's metal. corin has got that Numa spirit from uh, Pyra and Mithra spirit board, that new legend spirit. You uh, you heal 30% every stock, and you turn metal, and it activates around 80%. So, oh, bro, Bama with the Jigglypuff. Oh, and then Corrin just comes right back. See, that's the one negative thing about um, Jigglypuff with uh, Insta Drop. Or, I, I guess it's not even Insta Drop. It's just Jigglypuff in general. Jigglypuff, the amiibo, loves to just jump and float around. This thing looks like it... Oh, oh no! It poked right over the top of Jigglypuff! It just missed it! Jigglypuff was literally taking a nap on the job and still avoid, avoided damage. That is crazy. Oh, see? that? That's pretty good right there. Uh, turning into metal right there? It came in clutch right there. It didn't allow Corrin to get launched that much. Oh! Look at that, it's kind of counteractive of this uh, spirit build. That's kind of fun. I like that. We're zooming in on the last. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the insta drop. Into rest. One for insta drop, didn't hit the rest. Come on, who's going to get this one? This is a good match to start things off, coming down to the last stock just like we want. Look at that, you can't be any more even in terms of damage. Piranha Plant versus a pink deck. I didn't see the nickname on uh, the Piranha Plant. But he's glowing, he's got move speed. Okay, so the good thing with Piranha Plant, Piranha Plant's a heavy character, okay? Piranha Plant's got some good KO power, and it does take a bit of work to KO a Piranha Plant. But you know who can do that very well? You know who's got some great KO power? Yoshi. And I've heard some good, that I've fought this Pink Death Yoshi myself. Wow, couldn't even get out of the egg! Yoshi's scrambling up a victory, maybe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Piranha Plant comes right back with a back air, but... But PP... Uh, <laughs> Calling Piranha Plant PP, that's... Um, it's not what I meant. It's not what I meant, I promise. No, but P Piranha Plant there is down one... Or, well, down to his last stock here. Yoshi going off stage right there. That's kind of uh, interesting. See how far Yoshi went? Yoshi only has two jumps. There's no floaty jumps. I don't think there's an extra jump on this thing either. So get Yoshi off stage and there's his weakness. It, it's obvious. But then again, Amiibo don't know other Amiibo's weakness, right? They just go, okay, I'm just fighting an Amiibo. I just need to know what moves to hit, when to do it, and how to and how often to hit the move. Piranha Plant though, man. Good, but this Yoshi's been pretty good. This is, uh, like... I'm recording the whole thing, but only certain. I'm only going to be putting certain video or uh, matches in the video because uh, we're probably going to be recording for. I'm going to say over two hours, and I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have time to two, turn one video into a two-hour video. That's uh, that that's a lot of work, and I don't get a lot of views, so it's not really worth to do the, all that effort. You know what I mean? Football, the little. <laughs> the peach's name is football. What? What is that like? Because you punt it and it goes so far or something? Oh, I don't know the story behind that name, but I like it because I can assume what it... <laughs> uh, that's funny to me. That's funny to me. But then we got Voro. I didn't see Voro's, uh, his Inkling's name, but uh, Voro usually plays as Inkling in our raid boss arenas. So uh, not a surprise that he's got his own little Inkling here. So this is going to be fun. It's going to be a good little match. Uh, Pichu, like, don't underestimate Pichu. Pichu packs quite a punch in that tiny little baby Pokemon body, right? Pichu 
it is very good. Get somebody off stage. Watch him go for down air. <laughs> Pichu's down air is so incredibly powerful. It spikes. It's it's just too good. Like Pichu and Pikachu. They can both do it. And oh, we see Pichu's spirit. Oh, what was that? Was that 100%? I think that was 100%. That means this Pichu has critical health healing up by two. And I believe that takes up all three spots. So it's only going to activate just the one time for one stock. But it essentially makes it so you have four stocks. So that's cool. Pichu back down to it. And he's already gotten Voro Zinkling down to one or down one stock. So if this Inkling's going to win, he's going to really need to paint a masterpiece. So I was talking about Pichu's hitbox, right? Oh, there he goes for the down air right there. So I was talking about his down air, right? Inkling has their own down air spike. Although I think the hitbox is a little uh, a little slimmer than Pichu's is. So while Inkling can get shocked and lose, uh, Inkling is still a pretty decent amiibo all around, though. Whoa, Pinky versus Techno. It's oh, I've been waiting for this. Voro's final. Okay. I refer to him as Pigdrick because it's the, the pig from um, from uh, Minecraft combined with the, the Erdrick, uh, the Me Outfit skin. So I always called this thing Pigdrick. But what he I think he called him Technoblade. I think that was the name if I'd seen it real quick. But Cursed Erdrick or Pig Pigdrick is actually his own raid boss amiibo. That is so cool. That is sick. I like to see that. Now... Let's see if he's as dangerous as I remember him. He probably will be. He's got his hands full with this little mayor dog who actually just defeated a green gorilla by the name, well, a DK by the name of green, green Gorilla. So this Isabel, she's not, she's nothing to play around with. As you can see, she activates something right there. I want to say that, is that critical? No, it's not move up speed because that would be the whole thing. Is that critical? That might just be critical health stats up. So... It could be, you know, make her a little bit more dangerous the little, the longer her stock goes. It's not a bad idea at all. Oh, that stupid Lloyd or Floyd or Hemorrhoid, whatever the name of that rocket is, I don't remember. That is becoming a big nuisance for Pigdrick. Yeah, I think it's Hemorrhoid the Rocket. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, right? Dude, Isabel, I'm, I gotta take some notes with this Isabel. I have yet to train an Isabel Amiibo for myself for my own raid boss. So uh, maybe I just get to take some notes here, kind of be like, all right, what are they good at? What can Isabel do? Okay, the only thing I know about Isabel, recovery is not an issue, and that uh, the slingshot is great. Use slingshot, and then of course the side special, the fishing rod. You just have to use that, but you gotta be smart with it. That's pretty much all I know. So I gotta figure out what other moves are. Smash attacks good. I haven't really seen too many. Maybe the air attacks are pretty decent. So pig trick. If he's going to pull off the upset, if this cursed Erdrick is going to be the one that is just, I, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Oh, good tech right there by Pigdrick. Oh, good. Oh, I thought Pigdrick was about to get that. No, like I was just saying, P Isabelle's recovery is just fine. Just don't need to worry about that. You could literally go off stage like she was just trying to do right there. Throw out the fishing rod and then try to back throw the opponent. That's kind of dirty. That's kind of dirty. And I kind of like it. I wonder if I could teach my Isabel to do that once I train her. I'm sure as heck going to try. I'm sure as heck going to try because that would be fun and kind of disrespectful in the same manner, right? So, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Take No! Hemorrhoid the rocket! Oh! G Gold, Fr Gold Freddy. Gold Freddy. Freddy Fazbear? I get it. I get it. I like it. But we got a duck! Dear Mario in the house. I don't know what was with the pause right there, but we got a banjo against a Dr. Mario. Ooh, this is what this is the first match. We've literally been recording for 59 minutes and 31 seconds now. And this is the first banjo that we've seen today. We've seen two Terry's. I've had one Terry, and uh, I think Zach actually had the other Terry, but no Byleth yet. So uh, it's just cool. Hey, new amiibo. Where, where, where are they at? Anybody gonna represent? Doc is glowing here. Yeah, oh, back throw on Dr. Mario Amiibo. It's just too strong, man. It's just too strong. Just too strong. Doc's glowing again. Doc's glowing again. What kind of medical supplies you've been getting into there, Doc? Those aren't for you. Those are for your patients. 
Those are for you. What kind of hospital? <laughs> what kind of hospital you're running there? <laughs> but I think it. I think it's critical health stats up. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I'm guessing, but I think it's kind of a safe guess, and it makes sense, right? Doc is the um, Doctor Mario Amiibo is strong in itself, and then the scary thing is, you can make it even stronger. So <laughs> yeah, that's kind of frightening, right? It's kind of frightening. Banjo trying his uh, own little back throw right there. Misses the forward air. Man, if they would change... I wish they would change two things about Banjo. I wish they would change his forward air and make it more of a spike, like how Mar Mario and Dr. Mario's forward air works. And then something with his forward smash, but I don't have time to explain it. Ooh, Jose joining the arena, and I am not surprised. He's bringing out Zelda. I like it. I like it. Look at this. This is a cool matchup for me because these two uh, show up quite often in my uh, Raid Boss Amiibo arenas every weekend, and these are the characters that these guys play. Voro plays Inkling. Jose plays Zelda. They both play those characters very well. They know the characters very well, so I'm assuming... And, well, just by seeing a few of the matches for this Inkling so far, they've done pretty well. They've done pretty well. So now we get to see uh, Jose and Zelda. Look, we know Zelda can be one of the best amiibo. I think I had a video on the channel a few months ago where it was, like, a Zelda raid bosses, A+. Plus, and, like, it was my Zelda, and Zelda went undefeated in the, the like, five or six matches that she did. But she faced some stiff competition and put everybody to bed because Zelda is so good at mixing things up. If you can train the Zelda to mix things up with the Phantom. Oh, I see a little taunt in there. A nice little taunt. <laughs> I don't know if that was intentional or if that's just a side effect from early Amiibo and Smash Ultimate. They seem to have fixed that uh, for the most part. For the most part. Oh, the foot's still, the foot's still not enough, Zelda, no! No, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. it well, I mean, if you're going to snap or you're going to clap back like that, then it's fine. There you go. Zelda getting another one. Zelda's got the lead. Jose's got the lead. By the way, here's another funny story. These two people, I nicknamed my amiibo. I nicknamed my inkling Voro in honor of Voro. I nicknamed my Zelda amiibo Jose. I know a Zelda named Jose might not be the <laughs> might not make the most sense, but it's because of Jose. I think Jose is actually the one that kicked things off for me nicknaming uh, my amiibos after you guys to show appreciation. And uh, you know, I, I was I was happy to do. It. I've still got plans to do a few more in the future. There's still a few uh, people in the uh, arena that come back every week that uh, I want to make an, uh, an uh, a raid boss out of, like uh, Doc Eleven. I was told he plays Pit. I've seen it like one match, so I'll probably do a Pit in his honor. Competitive Pit named Spartan. I like that name actually. That's, that's kind of fitting. Taking on Kermit, the, <laughs> the <laughs> Kermit. That's clever. <laughs> I like that. But competitive Pit. Ooh, Impact Run Greninja. Uh, here, here's a here's a true story. I had a Greninja raid boss trained at one point that had impact run. And the reason it had impact run because Greninja can actually follow up impact run with si or um, with forward air or it can follow it up with a into a neutral air. It's really good at using impact run to combo into something else, which I'd like to see, right? Impact run is not a spirit you see that often if well ever. So just having, you know, something unique to it was pretty cool. But the reason you haven't seen a Greninja amiibo or raid boss from me yet is I just wasn't totally happy with the way that it turned out, so I pretty much scrapped it. But I might go back to the idea of Impact Run Greninja because I like it. It's different. It's unique. And that's what I look for when I do a raid boss. How different and unique can you be from everybody else? Ooh, dang. You see that one? You see that one? Pit gets the neutral air. Greninja goes flying. Pit's able to have recovery just, or he's able to recover just fine because he has a million and a half jumps. Did Greninja just get a KO with Water Shuriken? I haven't seen that before. Oh no! 
the big forward smash competitive pit picks up another W. Oh, P Pixel! I haven't seen Pixel in forever! And we get a Byleth! We got a Byleth side and let's go! That's cool, competitive pit versus Byleth. Who's gonna come out on top? Well, we'll tell you once the match ends because then we'll know the victor. Pretty simple. That's cool, I haven't seen Pixel in a long time, man. It's been months and months and months and months. But nonetheless, Pixel is here. Good to see Pixel again. What's what's going on, man? What's going on? Oh no, Byleth! Yeah, uh, Byleth has, yeah, can have recovery issue. Pit, you're going crazy. Just, oh, the pick down smash. Okay, I mean, that makes up for it. That makes up for the first stock. All right, here's a question. Is female Byleth the best Byleth? Or is female Byleth overrated? Let me know in the comments. I like the, I think I, maybe it's because I only played as the male professor in in my my run of three houses. But um, I, I guess my, my answer is male. So, I mean, there's not really a wrong choice to be fair. There's not a right choice either. It's just whoever you prefer. And that's what's great. I like when they do that. I like when they do player one and player two type uh, characters, right? Four male, four female, or I guess in like, say, I don't know, like Villager's case or Steve's case, you get like multiple uh, different other skins. So it's pretty cool. Uh, anybody see that uh, Amiibo leak? Or, well, it was a leak, but it turned out to be fake. I was kind of, I was excited for it, but I didn't believe it myself. But there was a supposed GameStop um, uh, document that released that said there's going to be a bunch of Player 2 Amiibos coming out. There's going to be like a male Wii Fit, going to have a second Villager Amiibo. Uh, what else did they have? It, oh, Alf was going to get one. Um, there, there's quite a female Pokemon trainer is going to get an Amiibo. There's like seven of them total. I can't remember the other ones, but I seen that. I got excited, but then I immediately went, no way they're doing that. Didn't Sakura, oh, Zelda was, Zelda and Link, I think, were getting updated designs. But I was like, there's no way they're doing that. Sakura said no. He wouldn't lie to us, would he? Oh, Nike. <laughs> does not, does the Nike symbol look like Sonic at all? Why do, why do I think that makes sense, though? Why do I think that makes sense? I don't know. This should be interesting. Look, look at this. More variety. This is why we do these arenas. I'd like to let you guys show off your amiibo. Whoever they might be. Look, again, we got Byleth in here. That's good. Representing the new amiibo as well. And Sonic. You don't see a lot of Sonics, to be fair. Right? Sonic does have a little problem with um, KOing. But I'm excited to see this one. Ruffles making his uh, debut in the arena this week. And he's pulling out the Sonic. I'd like to see it. I'd like to see it. Let's see him go supersonic speed, right? Oh, man. He's even glowing. That means he's got to have uh, critical health stats, right? I mean, it could be critical health attack. It could be critical health um, defense. I don't think you'd do critical health speed because you just do movement speed overall then. But I don't know. It could be. It could, it, it's interesting. It's interesting. So I'm kind of rooting for the Sonic just because you don't see too many. There you go. The big old wind up punch. You know, that's the move Sonic is famous for in his games, right? Wind-up punch. Yeah, if Sonic comes back, if Smash Bros. for the next Nintendo console, say they do some sort of reboot or like a, a refresh of the roster, and say Sonic comes back, I, I have no problem with Sonic coming back. I hope Sonic gets a rework for his moveset. I really do. Because while it does... It's all right for what he has, but I still feel that there's so much more Sonic can offer than spin dash, spin dash, punch. Like, he's got more than that. He has more than that, and I would love to see that. So, if the next Smash game happens to be a reprint or a, or a reboot, yeah, Sonic could use a rework. Oh, that's not looking good. That's not looking good for Mr. Video. <laughs> Mr. Video, is it like Mr. Video Games? I, I, I'm guessing. But Mr. Video, the Mario from Ruffles. <laughs> he gets to face off Dempsey's competitive pit. Who, Dempsey, you're going to have to remind me. Has your pit won any actual competitive tournaments? I know, I think, I remember you telling me Corin has. I, th I want to say your pit has, but you got to remind me. You got to let me know down in the comments. But, um, dude, this pit's actually been very... Very good today. 
A lot of wins. Only a couple losses, I want to say. Maybe one or two losses. One loss, I think, for sure. But other than that... Oh, Mr. Video! He's showing you why he's Mr. Video. That forward air is a video of it in its own right. Because it, you, you view it with your face. Because his hand is punching you. Yeah, we get it. Nice little counter. Counter. Ugh. Nice combo right there. See, that's the good thing about Mario, though. Mario can climb the ladder very well. He can, put, he can string together, you know, like, up tilt and then, you know, up air, up air, and then finish it with an up special. Speaking of getting finished, there's an up smash. Holy lord, look at the size of that King DDD. Whoa. Metal King K. Rule against a giant King DDD. Oh, boy. Oh, how did that now pop the shield? That's a giant kick DDD using a forward smash, and the shield didn't get popped. I don't know if that's impressive, or if I'm just very confused. I feel like that should have popped the bubble no matter what. There's another big forward smash. Dang, that thing is good. Again, it's got a lot of lag, but if it connects, uh, yeah, your opponent's in danger then, for sure. Oh, he beats him. He beats him. King DDD's forward smash was trying to go through, but K rules like, nah, my forward smash is a bit quicker there, bro. My forward smash is a bit quicker. Able to punch him right in that big penguin belly of his. And then it looks like that one connected to the penguin face. That's, that's rude. Penguins are an endangered species in Smash Bros. There's only one of them left. There's only one. Wait, 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 wait. Do, do Waddle Dees? What are Waddle do Waddle Dees don't count as penguins, do they? Are they like mini penguins? What are a baby? What's a baby penguin called? Is it just a baby penguin? They don't have like a name for it. I don't think so. Like 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 a, a baby cow with that that's a calf, right? So like what's what's a baby penguin? Just baby penguin? Pit Boyo versus Palatina. We'll see who comes out on top of this one. Is Palatina gonna be looking out for Pit the whole time? Or is Pit gonna surprise the goddess and be like, actually you know what? I might not be as clumsy as you think I am. I might not be as you know Stupid. I mean, like, come on. Let, let's face it. Anybody that's actually played Kid Icarus, I mean, there's got to be times where Palutena just looks at Pit and goes, what are you doing? What are you doing? You should know better. That's why, you, you know, we always have to have the, the Palutena's guidance. I mean, Palutena's... Without Palutena, Pit is not Pit. It's that simple. So shouldn't this match pretty much be Pit bowing down to his goddess? Pit recovers just fine because a million jumps for recovery. And then this up special soars and covers so much distance as well. Like, really? Okay, I get Pit's an angel or like a pseudo type angel. So, like, I get that. But wow. Recovery it has decent KO power. Is a good amiibo overall? Which, now that I'm thinking about, we've seen quite a bit of Pit today. I think most of it was Dempsey, but a lot of people playing Pit or using a Pit amiibo. I know, like, if you look at the tier list, if you look at tier list, pretty sure Amoeba, uh, Pit and Dark Pit are like, I want to the last time I seen it, they were like A tier. So they're definitely up there. They're definitely up there in terms of competitive. Look at that. Pit's just dancing at the at the bottom of the, 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 the hit box. Not the hit box, but the bottom of the stage down there. And then he just flies up still no problem. Like, really? You just do that no problem, huh? Just do that no problem. I would be worried, man. Especially when Palatina hits you with her wings.